Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, good, evening, good evening, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good. Great, good evening. Welcome to classes. This is our session number 17. And by coincidence, this week we're gonna be having the same. It's so weird, isn't it? The 17th and the 17th, right? Okay, I hope you're all doing great. You're fine. You're okay. And let's get started. Well, as you may know, we got a help with this unit, and I hope you are done with the session three on the platform. Today, we're going to be checking those exercises as well. I hope we get some time to do so. Let's see. And we're going to be definitely, you know, summarizing the content that we've been studying through this unit which is about warehousing, all right? So let's get started. Okay. Let me just get the attendance by this time. Let's see. Well, some people are still getting connected, actually. I hope you're able to respond and answer as I go on your names. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Abigail, Atilio, Elizabeth, present teacher, Emerson. Fernando. Good evening. Good evening. Francisco. Hazel. Julissa. Carla. Luis Javier. Luis Miguel. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Martiel. Present. Good evening, Manuel Alexander. Present. Uh, Marilyn. Mario Ernesto. Present. Roberto Esaú. Ronald Alexander. Victor. Vidal. Present. Hi, Waldir. Carlos. Okay. Well, as I was saying by coincidence, this is our session number 17. And it is the opportunity to practice, to rehearse as much as we can. All right. And it would be great so we could take the time. Yeah, I know some people's conditions are difficult, but as much as we can, let's try to do our best, all right, in participating. All right. Well, I'm gonna show, like I was showing one of these slides for you to have, um, hold on, the reference of 
the vocabulary we've been using to describe all the process in the warehouse. I mean, the different processes, right? And the type of equipment they use. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I found this image and I found it interesting. I said, okay, it's simple to understand the processes, right? And you know, part of the vocabulary that we might be using in the definitions and concepts that we've been using to describe the processes taking place in the warehouse. All right. So practically, we're gonna be doing that. Okay, we're gonna be summarizing and reviewing the content related to warehousing processes. And we'll be also discussing about issues so as the objectives are okay, describing fundamentals of warehousing management, identify common issues related to warehousing processes, provide suggestions to solve common issues related to warehousing processes, and display safety measures related to different processes at a warehouse. So definitely it's everything related to that. And hold on. All oh, right, I'm sorry, my bad. I don't know how you like the weather these days, but it's been changing, so I think I'm going to get the flu. <laughs> All right. Well, for this lesson, yeah, we're going to um provide safety measures. Measures related to different processes at a warehouse and... Hazardous materials mean dangerous, right? Hazardous material and machinery are always found in a warehouse. How do you keep your employees out of danger? So we're going to be talking about safety on a warehouse and what kind of dangerous materials and chemicals may be found in a warehouse. So try to think, try to come up with your ideas and let's talk about this, okay? You know, uh, managing, driving, manipulating, and dealing with machinery and chemicals. So there must, I mean, there must be some dangers, right? So people must be prepared, especially employees must be trained in order to handle this materials in, in, in order to manipulate or work with this machinery. So this is something we're going to be discussing. I hope you can get some information as well on your own and come with your own idea so that we can express and discuss. All right. So think about this. As I explained before, for sort of those materials means dangerous risk, right? There must be some risk, some danger with these materials and machineries that are always found in a warehouse. I think of, yeah, the, pic the pictures I showed you before. So you can say, oh yeah, heavy objects, electricity outlets, or no well-handled machines, right, scales, um, ladders, lift, and all these machines. 
could bring some danger, definitely, right? If they're not driven or they're not manipulated correctly. So think about those things and how to keep your employees out of danger. Okay, imagine you are the owner or the manager of a warehouse and you have to know what to do in order to maintain your staff, your employees out of danger. Otherwise, human loss or humans accidents, you know, might happen and that might cost a lot of money. First of all, to the company, second, to the insurance, right? So at the end, this is still the company. So it's better to train the staff. I mean, to have this um staff for this group of employees and I mean out of danger in a in a say let's say in a safe working environment. So there is danger everywhere, you know, in all the working environments. But as much as possible, people and companies try to stay away from danger, right? So what kind of dangerous materials and chemicals may be found in a warehouse? Think about that. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to come up with possible answers, okay, so possible ideas, so that you can exchange your ideas with your partners, all right? Is If there is a question, if there is any question, you just don't hesitate. You just ask, all right? So I'll let you think about it.
Yes. And and I think that it will depend on the kind of warehouse that the people or the owner have. So one of the common dangerous substances that we can find in a warehouse can be like loose, paint, solvents, maybe some acids, disinfectants, heavy metals, things like that. And yeah. one of the things or one of the actions that we can do to stay safe is to do like label all that kind of bottles with all the effects on the pen or the type of the dangerous substance and the level of exposure. Yeah, and also maybe the company could uh, do some um, training to all the employees in order to handle currently all that kind of, of substances. And also there there could be a, a chemical, corrosive chemicals. Well, uh, you said acids. And also um, they could be compressed gas. For example, I don't know if you heard about uh, Infrasal or Oxgasa. No. Yeah, well, actually, they manage uh, a lot of um, deposits with gas, compressed gas. Could be oxygen, could be nitrogen, for example. And those, this, the, the, the bad handle of this kind of deposits could be dangerous in order to, could be break fingers. And also, if you're not handled very well, uh, some gas could be launched at a, a high speed and could be hit hit someone, some employees. Yes, that is important to provide personal protection equipment such as respirators, gloves, and helmets. Helmets, I forgot that word, helmets. Also, yeah, actually... uh, hi, Magdil. I think, hi, uh, I think the all hazard, hazardous material uh, has the technical information about the kind of kind of uh, product is into the bottles in case of uh, accidents or. Um, when when some someone in here or or drink some some substance, they have in, uh, correct information. Each each hazardous material. Yeah, that's right. And also, I remember I remember a name the gas cylinders. You know, I don't know if you remember there was an accident. Here in Salvador, last How can, can we say capacitation? I know, I know it's training, but um, using that word. I don't know. Let, let me let me Google. <laughs> See, 
Mm. It's the same training or training, training program. Yeah. So the, the police have had to, they should have a training to handle those kind of dangerous chemicals or materials. Yes, it's important to train employees in handling and safety processes to reduce exposure to dangerous substance or materials. Yeah, handling is the word, handling. Also, if they if they used to use to the dangerous material and the employer mount have to give them give them the, the equipment safety uh, uh, according to the to the risk or different material. I think it's important. Yes, because there could be collateral damage. You know, could be a factory near from a neighborhood. Something important it is that nowadays all the materials and sub substance, dangerous substance, has labels and safety data sheets in case of emergency to know what can we do. Yes, because for example, if there is a fire in the warehouse and uh, the employees didn't doesn't know how to handle a uh well manguera <laughs> us como como se dice us us ah okay mm -hmm. also there can be injury using a house Okay, well, after exchanging our ideas with our partners, yeah, somebody would like to participate and tell us about the possible hazardous materials and machineries found in the warehouse and how to keep employees out of danger. Mm -hmm. Yes, Emerson? Hi, teacher. We're in my group. We were discussing the different materials and chemicals that may be found in a warehouse. Well, dangerous, right? Mm -hmm. There could be uh, corrosive chemicals like mm -hmm. uh, acids, mm -hmm. toxic substances like pesticides, mm -hmm. and compressed gases like, you know, the gas to 
cooking in the kitchen houses mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and also gases compressed gases like oxygen nitro nitrogen oxygen mm -hmm. and uh, one of the requirements to handle doing a good handle of those kind of protein products should be uh, do a, tr a giving trainings to the to the employees in order to handle those kind of materials in order to avoid uh, injuries. Right, definitely. Giving the right, the accurate uh, training, right? And supervising the employees are following the procedures and that they are using or wearing the right equipment as well. Because sometimes, uh, let's say, employees just, omit one step or skip one of the items that they have to wear in order to protect from those dangerous materials or chemicals and that can be really bad that can be fatal right so they could cause really big dangers right nice thanks somebody else would like to contribute or add something else Mm -hmm. What about the machines? What is important in order to operate the machines accurately, properly, in a safe way? Uh huh. Anyone? First one know how to use it and has the correct equipment to use the machine. Right, to use the machines for the purpose that they are there for, right? To use them correctly, to make sure that they are under maintenance as necessary, right? and do not uh, use the machines for entertainment or for fun purposes, because sometimes people just think it, they are toys, right? So they start just like chasing other uh, colleagues or doing things just for fun. Okay, so definitely operating them for the purpose or the objective that the machines are there for. And, Definitely knowing very well how to operate them. All right, great. Um, yeah, I think we've summarized this already very well. Very nice. Okay, in order to refresh, in order to activate yesterday structure in knowledge, we are going to solve some exercises regarding uh, first conditional. I know we've been practicing this structure and I want you to refresh that. So give me just one second. I'm going to share a link for you to solve very few exercises. They're actually just a couple of sentences. And once you're done, we're going to compare. One second. All right, let's work. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to try to solve them. And then if there are questions, we can exchange.
Hi, Magdal, do you finish? And now, Jed, I'm working that. Okay, let me know. Okay.
Hello. Hi, Fernando. Tell me. Hello. Yeah. The first one. Uh, yes. <clears throat> I did. Uh, the boys won't play the match if it is very cold. Mm -hmm. it's, it's okay for you. No, I the first one I did it wrong. This one it's okay for me. <clears throat> the second one is if Mary won't hurry up, she will be late for school. I have wrong in the first part. How uh, do you write it? I I write don't don't hurry. But it was a want if Mari Mari won't hurry. I think so. The third one. The third one. If if a story is interesting, I will read. I will read it to my sister. The third one is I will study English if I go to the university. Nice. Number five. If it is cold tomorrow, I will put on my scarf and gloves. And the number six, I have wrong. Yeah, I have wrong about just the first part. I put ah. if you don't watch TV a lot, he will have a headache. The seventh one is if apple pie is so tasty, perhaps I will try it. Nice. Number, number eight, I won't send you a postcard if you don't give me. Number nine is rains tomorrow and my friend earns a lot of money he will buy a new car yeah It was okay.
All right, you finished? All correct? Yes? No. Not all of them. Okay, let's see. Number one, the boys? One. One. And the contraction is accepted or will not? The boys won't play the match if it is very if cold. It is very cold, but the contraction of will not is accepted or, or you have to put it separated? Separated. Separated, will not. Yes. All right. Yeah, but if you say want, it's totally acceptable, right? If Mary... Won't hurry up, she will be late for school. Yeah, if she... She doesn't hurry up. If she doesn't, Why? Because if she doesn't do that, the consequence is that she will be late. Remember present and future. If she doesn't hurry up, she will be late. That one you got it correct? No. And that's why she doesn't. That's a negative for present. Doesn't. For she. Because he, she, it doesn't and the verb. And are you with they? Don't and the verb. If a story if a story is interesting, I I will read it. Yes, I will read it to my sister. Uh-huh. The fourth one is I will study English if I go to the university. Exactly. I will study English if I go to university. Number five. If I will my blood. If it is cold, right? If it is cold. <clears throat> Tomorrow I will sorry. <laughs> my goodness because of the weather i'm getting sick okay yes. i will put on i will put on put on my scarf and gloves if tom tom what? watches tv a lot if, uh... he will have a headache All right. If this apple pie, See, perhaps we'll try. is so tasty, I will perhaps I will try. Try. Mm hmm. I won't send you a postcard if you. Won't exactly. give me your address. I won't send you a postcard if you don't. This is present. In the condition is present. If you don't give me your address. Mm -hmm. I won't go to the beach, right? I won't go to the beach if it's if it rains. The rains tomorrow. If my friend earns, earns, uh -huh, earns a lot of money, he will buy a new car, definitely. All right, all good. Well, this is to review the structure we've been studying. Lately, we just got the ones that didn't complete it yet. 
that's the way they should be. Well, I'm not quite sure if the website accepts the, the contractions because sometimes they don't, but let's check it out. Oh, don't. This one probably I use a, a tilde instead of an apostrophe. So that's why they are recognizing. Sometimes they recognize the, the stress like or the, the tilde instead of the apostrophe. So probably that's why they don't get it right, but they are right. All right. Done. Are there any questions? So far? No? So far, no. so good? All right. Great. Let's see the T, the T, the T. Okay. Well, let me just. Yeah, we're going to move on. Let me just share the. The reading you've got from the manual. And here we go. Okay, as we've been uh sharing our ideas in the manual also presents a segment about warehouse safety procedures. This is what we just introduced and we're discussing at the beginning, right? The hazardous materials and machineries, possible dangers, possible risks with uh substances and all those kind of things and materials found in a warehouse. So the most important is to provide safety measures, right? Related to different processes at a warehouse. So we're gonna read the segment about warehouse safety procedures. Of course, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna give you the first read and try to spot, try to identify possible vocabulary that you might not be very familiar with and you can rewrite it or take notes and then we can just clarify, right? There's more to warehouse safety than obedience to fire codes and safety regulation. So this, it's important, right? Fire codes and safety regulation. So I bet any place we are at or any place we work at, there are some rules for Different possible um they, they are called uh what working accidents. So in case there are um danger like fires or any other natural disaster, we we must be told what to do. Right. Unfortunately, too many warehouses and three PLs look at safety as meeting the minimum instructed by the law of their conscience. In the long run, however, a safe warehouse environment delivers important costs saving through higher employee satisfaction and increased productivity, fewer workplace disruptions, and reduce absenteeism and equipment downtime. Don't expect employees to start with a culture of safety at work. Establishing a safe culture, sorry, a safety culture, including the necessary operational changes in training and education program it starts with you. The following are some measures that could start implementing with your team. You could start implementing with your team. Letter A, make sure that garbage and debris bins are available throughout the warehouse. Block access to expose or open loading docks doors. Keep aisles and pathways clear at all times. Keep your back straight, don't bend over. Teach employees to push manual materials handling equipment whenever possible rather than pull loads. Test 
the load before lifting it. If it is too heavy or bulky, get help. Keep ducts and floor free of boxes, garbage boxes, bailing materials, debris, dirt, and oil. Permit access to above floor racks and shelves only if portable ladders or appropriate lifting devices are available. All right, so these are some of the measures that uh, definitely should be taken into consideration to avoid getting hurt, to avoid getting injured as employees of a warehouse. And I think some of them also apply to different working environments, okay? So probably you might say, oh, we also have this one and this one and this one because of this equipment or because of these places we work at, right? So I'm going to give you some minutes to take a look at it if there are some Difficult words to pronounce, double check the pronunciation as well, or the meaning, even though, I mean, most of the vocabulary we probably are familiar with, there might be some new words or some difficult words, let's say. Is there any questions so far? No. Okay, take your time, read the, the segment of this safety procedures again on your own spot. As I said, the words that you might don't know the meaning or those the right pronunciation, and then take turns reading. Maybe you can divide, like if you're working with a partner, you can read one part and your partner reads the instructions mm -hmm. probably or the measures. And mm -hmm. after that, you classify the security measures above in the categories from the bulk below. Compare answers with a partner. General housekeeping, false and other preventable mishaps, manual lifting, for lifting material handling equipment. Okay, so you just have from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. All right, but most importantly that you read and discuss what you understood from this. All right. I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to read, get familiar with the text, and then compare.
Good evening, partners. Good evening. Good evening. Do you read the statement? Um, yes. So you are clear with all that you read? So I will read the first paragraph. There is more to warehouse safety than obedience to fire code and safety regulations. Unfortunately, too many warehouse and trip pills look at safety as meeting the minimum instructed by the law of their conscience. In the long run, however, a safe warehouse environment delivers important cost saving through higher employee satisfaction and increase productivity, fewer workplace disruption, and reduce abstinence and equipment downtime. Don't expect employees to start with a culture of safety at work. Establishing a safety culture, including the necessary operational changes and training and education programs, starts with you. Um, the following are some issues you could start making with your team. Uh, letter A, make you sure that garbage and debris bins are available throughout the warehouse. B, block access to exposed or open winding dock doors. And C, keep iceless and pass type Passageways clear at all times. Keep your back straight, don't bend over. Teach employees to push manual material handling equipment whenever possible. Rather than pull loads, uh, rather than pull loads and that's the load before lifting it if it's too heavy or bulky get help keep dogs and flo floors free of boxes garbage boxes body materials debris steer and oil permit access to above floor racks and shelves only if portable ladders or appropriate lifting device are available. Now we have to classify the security measures above in these boxes. The first one is general housekeeping. I will put letter A and letter G. That's right, letter A and letter G. Yes. The second one is false and other preventable mishaps. I will put letter B and letter H. Okay. Manual lifting. I will put letter F and letter E. E. Letter E, I'm sure, but letter F, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, well, let me, let me see, manual lifting. Well, the F says uh, test the load before lifting, you know, it could be heavy or bulky. 
and it's related to manual lifting. Or to forklift and material handling equipment. Mm, yeah, it could be. Because letter C, keep isolated passways clear all the time. That be in the letter, the, uh, in the second one, false and over preventable mishaps. In, in mishaps, we, we I only put letter B and H. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, maybe the last one. A, B, could be letter forklifts and material handling equipment. Well, yeah, maybe you're right. Could be here in the letter, letter E, the H in place to push metal material equipment. Yeah. Letter E, erase this, and this is the third one. And... A G Letter D it says keep your back straight, don't bend over. Mm, that could be in the manual lifting. And letter C keep ails and passages ways clear at all time. Yeah. So the the columns will be A, G, B, H, F, D, E, and C. Yes. Mm, okay. I was saying the uh, passage, passage ways, passage ways, and the other word. Um. I don't know where is there? There's another word. Very difficult to pronounce. Uh, well, throughout that, uh, I think that only that passage passageways. Um, debris. Racks and shelves. Appropriate. Lifting devices. Yeah. Well, we're done.
Okay, we're done, right? Let's see. Okay, any volunteer to read? Me, the chair. Go ahead. Um, this is more to warehouse safety than obedience, fire, cuts, and safety regulation. Unfortunately, too many warehouse and 3PRS look at safety as meeting the minimum structure by the law or their consents. In the law room, however, a safe warehouse environment delivers important cost saving throw. High, higher employee satisfaction and increased productivity, fewer workplace distributions, and reduced abstinence and equipment double time. Um, don't expect employee to start with a culture of safety at work, establishing a safety culture, including the necessary operational change and training and education programs start with you. The following are some measures you could start implementing with your team. Make sure the garbage and the bright beans are available throughout the warehouse. Block access to explore or open guarding dock doors. Keep ice slabs and pass a Pass a gateways clear at all times. Keep your back straight, don't bend over. Teach employees to push manually material handling equipment whenever possible, rather than pull loads. Test the load before lifting it. If it is too heavy or bulky, get help. Keep Dogs and floors free of boxes, garbage boxes, bailing material, debris, dirt, and oil. Permit access to above floor rugs and shelves only if portable ladder or appropriate lifting devices are available. Very good. Thank you. All right. Classify the security measures above in the categories. Categories from the box below. Some the answers with the partner. General housekeeping. Which letters did you put in general housekeeping? Letter A and G. A and G. All right. Wait, give me one second. I need to make this a little bit bigger because of the size. Okay. A and G. Everyone agrees? Make sure the garbage, the rest bins are available throughout the, the warehouse. Keeps dogs and floors free of boxes, garbage boxes, all right. Dirt and oil, any other dangerous liquids, right? Falls and others preventable mishaps. Letter B and H. Okay, block access and Permit access to the boat floor. Yes, okay. That would be B and H. All right. Manual lifting. Letter D and F. Keep your back straight and F the slots. Yeah, definitely. That would be D and F. All right. And for lifting material handling equipment. Letter C. And E. Okay. Keep aisles and pathways. Okay, so that will be C and E. Teach employees to push manual materials. Oh, yes. Letter E, right. Okay. Done. We're done. Okay, let me. Let me ask you if we have any question according to this. No? We're done. We're good. 
okay. Let me just. Well, I have a very interesting exercise. It's a matching exercise. You just have to look carefully. Let me see. Yes. Match the numbers with the letters. Okay, but could happen. And I'm going to share the link for you to start working on it. Look for it. And if you need any further explanation, please let me know. Let's see. Check it out. I spot the hazards at work. Okay, this is not necessarily at a warehouse, but I think those mistakes or bad practices have been done on purpose at this workplace. Okay.
Hi, Emerson, do you finish? No, not yet. I'm still in the crossing. I think this exercise I should be done on the computer because the cell phone when I draw in the lines, some lines uh, disappear. But let me share with you the. In my case, it's a little confused when you try to draw the lines. Yeah, and also the lines are on the on the text. Okay. Yes, it's a difficult sweep. But I have just three rounds, and all the other ones are good. Mm. Oh, but uh, I forgot to identify the hazard of the circles. Oh, no, just to identify. Well, okay, let me finish. Check my answers. Wow. One, two, three, four, five are wrong. Or for example, yeah, only I only have five wrong. One, two, three, five. What? 
kind of thing to say, sir. Not bad. No, no bad. Yeah, let me do a screenshot. All right, done, right? Yes. Great. He's throwing a hammer to his workmate. That's number one with letter? Letter D. It could hit him. Yeah, that's dangerous. <laughs> He's smoking while climbing a ladder. With letter I don't remember how to say J. <laughs> J. 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 Definitely, you should not be smoking at work. It's weird. Okay. He's driving, but he can't see where he is going because the boxes are piled too high. Letter A. Uh huh. He could crash into something. There's some. There's broken glass on the floor. With letter E. Okay, letter E. Someone could stand on it and cut themselves. That that one was easy actually. Okay, one side of the ladder is prop propped up. Which is that one? Ah, uh, that is letter M. M? It's not secure, yes. so he could fall off it. Okay. Ah, okay. Yes, letter M. Uh-huh. He's standing on two boxes, but they're evenly unbalanced. He's with letter L. L? J, K, L. He could fall off the boxes. Mm-hmm. This L looks like an I. All right. <laughs> He's carrying a very long plank. Letter B. Letter B. He could swing around and hit someone. Okay. Four huge pipes are not properly secured. Letter E. No, letter. but sorry, letter letter. I. Uh huh. <laughs> the tools could fall into someone's hand. No, 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 no. So number eight is letter. K. Or K. Yes, K. Into a workman below them. All right, the poor huge pipe. All right, there is an ungranted flame. Uh, I'm sorry, an awarded flame. 
the steam put injure his eyes? No. No. Letter, for letter nine is letter C. Burn. Letter C. Ah, yes. Injure their feet. Mm, wait a second. Where is that one? Okay. All right. Yeah, he is left in a box with an even stack. Oops. What would be that one? Letter 10, number 10. Mm -hmm. No, no, number 11, actually. Oh, I, I think you skipped one. I skipped number 9, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're nails in the planks of wood on the floor. So that one was letter C, Correct. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So there is a guarded flame. Number is letter N. Uh-huh. They could burn some, somebody on the workman himself, right? He's lifting a box from an even stack. Letter O. All right, some of the boxes on the stack will fall on him. Sure. And she's walking towards an open manhole. Letter H. She could fall and seriously injure herself. Okay, the tools are hanging out of the bag. Keep number 13. Did I? There is a pool of water on the floor. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's because I did it wrongly. All right. There's a pool of water on the floor. Letter F. That's F. Someone might slip on it. It's true. And the tools are hanging out of the bag. Yeah, that's number 14. Letter I. All right. The tools could fall into someone's head. Yeah, that's the one. Ouch. Where's the letter I from here? It's kind of hard to to trace all the all the lines, right? The man with a block torch has no safety goggles on. Letter G. Okay, that thing could injure his eye. Yeah. Block torch. All right, you got them all right. Yes. We good. That's great. Done. Well, let's see the last attendance. Abigail. Present teacher. Elizabeth. Present. Fernando. Present. Francisco. Have you ever seen any Francisco in this class? No, that I remember. Mm. <laughs> hey, so. I think I have seen Hazel a couple of times only. Juan Antonio, never. Julissa. Carla. Yeah, Luis yeah. Javier. Luis Miguel. Magdiel. Present teacher. Hi. Present. Manuel. Marley. Present. Mario, Roberto, Ronald, Victor, Vidal, Waldir, Carlos. Don. Didn't, didn't mention me, teacher. Didn't. No. How could I? <laughs> <laughs> Emerson, right? Yeah, but I mentioned Elizabeth and then I mentioned Fernando. <laughs> yeah how could i skip your name oh wow well thank you for attending thank you for participating and 
working hard to improve and boost your knowledge on vocabulary, definitely. I think we're done. I I bet you also finish the unit three on the platform. And if that's not the case, you still have tomorrow. The teacher okay. about the unit three in the platform, mm -hmm. the homework 3.9. Mm -hmm. Also oh, a mistake. No, yes, because it is incomplete. It is, really? Yes. Let me check it out. So the grade only takes three parts, not the four parts. And it has four. Mm -hmm. oh. Can you send a screenshots? Maybe not right now, but when you're, I mean, when you got the, the time tomorrow, send a screenshots on the on the group. What's up? Okay. okay. So I can forward it to the to the coordinator. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for pointing it out. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good night. The mm -hmm. weather is beautiful. Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye.